we have two paths to grow the account. One path is 100% into SPY tech options. That's it. That's one path. That's the path I used to have in my early days when I was not as mature and I didn't have as much wisdom as I have now in the market. Even though I have been banging myself doing it for 27 years. So you, the account is going to look like this. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Eventually you can go up, but you can also lose everything. All right? We need to call a, we need to call a cat a cat, everybody, okay? 100% in options in something that is not even an asset. Now, I'm taking the 10K, but I'm dividing the 100% in different strategies, as I showed you, and the path is going to be more like this. Over time. It's going to be steady. Why? Because 50% of the path is trifecta and cryptos. So let's say it's cryptos and trifecta, right? And I know already the trifecta of income is a strategy that gives me at the minimum, minimum, if I screwed up everything, 3%. At the best with stock options, dividend, let's say it's giving me a 12% to a 20% return a year. Crypto, that's the big unknown. Can you lose everything or make a thousand percent return? I don't know, right? Then you have the rest you put 30% into the SPX strategy, which we know already, it's about 1.2% per week, right? But with loser winner, I'm guessing 20% per year. So you know 80% of your portfolio is going to not blow up, you know already. And then maybe with 20% of your portfolio, 2K, you do the options. Who is to know that that 2K, you are not doing very well with it? But if you blow it up and this keeps on going up, you will still have $8,000 left that keeps on growing that could be a million dollars one day because of the crypto or whatever. Does that make sense? 